Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. So y'all, I was supposed to be filming a get ready with me, full on get ready with me, makeup, hair, outfit, fragrance, all of that, but I'm running late. <laughs> so I'm about to just do my face really quickly. And then I'm gonna come back with y'all and share with you my scent of the night. It's a scent combo. When I tell y'all, like, y'all gonna flip, okay? Like, y'all literally are going to flip because this combo is so sick. And when I tell y'all the notes and why it just works together, y'all are gonna be in love. So, let me do some real quick to my face. I haven't done eyebrows, anything. I'm meeting my cousins for dinner. And the reservation is at 6 p.m. And ask me who made the reservation for 6 p.m. <laughs> I did. <laughs> why? Like, why? Why? I know I'm not gonna be ready in time because I have things to do in the day, but I mean, it just sounded like a good idea. I know my hands are super ashy because I just washed them, but uh, uh listen, this is real life, okay? You ashy sometimes, all right? <laughs> so I'm about to do my face really quickly and then I'm gonna get dressed and come back to y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm just putting on my railroad hoops in the multicolor. I'm just wearing jeans, a t-shirt, and this ruffled jacket thingy from Zara. It's really cute. Super ruffled, super pretty. Um, I'm carrying my red Dior bag, red lipstick. This is the Fenty MVP. And I'm gonna do my red Louboutins, like just some open toe shoes. So let me show y'all my scent because that's why I turned y'all on. I am wearing Ambrosia Imperial, my fragrance, and I'm layering it with Blue Heart by Tamin. I could wear this on its own, but I've been wearing it on its own, y'all, because y'all know I've had it. But I just wanted to add a little bit of extra, extra kick because this is super sweet and just sexy and seductive and it just makes you want more and the blue heart is just it's just that right amount of masculinity or like not masculinity like just a little unisex vibe with the saffron and the caramel omg layer the two y'all if y'all have this layer it and get back to me so ambrosia imperial my fragrance and blue heart by tamin i'm gonna see y'all in the car so i'm on my way and I'm holding the phone right now because <laughs> the angle that I had it in before, the light was just making it look crazy. Well, making me look crazy. So I'm just holding the phone really quickly. But I just wanted y'all to know that we're on our way. I'm 30 minutes late. How does this happen? My hair is not what I wanted it to be. My makeup's not what I wanted it to be. <sighs> but it is what it is. I'm excited to see my cousins because literally we only see each other if there's a funeral or a wedding so we're trying to make a better effort of not just hanging out when it's something sad or like a big event like we're just going to dinner Cinco de Mayo Friday May 5th just because you know what I mean so let me put this down so I could drive safely <laughs> and I'll see y'all when we get there Oh, they got ropa, they have short rib, roasted sweet peppers, red onion, and pearl scallion. I want to try this. <laughs> All right, so tell the people your skincare routine. I use eight sakes from um, Amazon. So, <laughs> see, that's free. That's a free gem I'm giving y'all. Y'all see this skin? Turn around. You got to give it a profile. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So what? <laughs> Give him your side profile. No. Like your profile. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that velvety, buttery, soft. Not one bump, nothing. <laughs> not to own some bugs. You got good skin too. You got good skin too. <laughs> what you watch? What do you have? What do you use? Look what he's doing, y'all. He's ordering my fragrance. <laughs> Order. Order to <laughs> what do you think about it? It's a wonderful scent. It really, it really, really is a pleasant scent. Like, it's something you can wear all day. It right. doesn't give you, and for me who's sensitive, who has allergies, 
like you know how some fragrances it gives you a headache because yep. it's so overpowering. Yeah. It, it's really really nice. Okay. You can wear it all day. You can, it could be a bedroom fragrance. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. Shelly. So what you what you think? You could take somebody man away from this fragrance. Oh. Everything. You smell it all. Any thoughts down here? <laughs> the fragrance is amazing. It's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Fancy, Fancy. sexy. It's definitely it's sexy. Yes. Very, yes. Yes. Definitely unisex. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great. Order it. Hey. You want to take somebody man away and take the fragrance? Wait, what you say? <laughs> what? Wait, they need to hear that. So I made it back home, obviously. I'm so tired. I really shouldn't be vlogging right now, but I kind of want to show y'all my nighttime routine. Well, my nighttime skincare routine. Since it is nighttime. <laughs> and I'm about to take my makeup off. But I had a good time with my cousins. It was really fun. Why they jack me for my Ambrosia Imperial? So my cousin bought, he ordered, one of my cousins ordered two bottles. And he was like, so I took mine out to give myself a little refresh at the table. And he literally was like, give me that. I just bought two bottles. So what was I going to say? But I'm like, he just jacked me for my little decant. So, but yeah, y'all, the combination of this and blue heart i'm telling y'all this is a winning combination right here it smells so good it's just the the saffron and the caramel it just adds just something so special to ambrosia so i'm using the clinique <sighs> take the day off i love this I've been using this for years and I'll always have it. Takes off the lipstick. I'm about to look real crazy, so. I'm just warning y'all right now. It's about to get real up in her. Okay? It is about to get real, real raw and ratchet. <laughs> But y'all are loving Ambrosia Imperial, and I'm so happy about that. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous because, well, first of all, let me say this. Everything isn't for everybody, and I know that. I know that a lot of you guys love it. Um, Most of you, I mean, I, I haven't heard any negative reviews about it. Because if I did, I would definitely post it. Like, I'm not going to be biased and only post the good. I'm going to post the negative, not the negative, but just your experience. And if your experience happens to be you don't feel it, then that's fine. Because, I mean, everything isn't for everybody. No, I don't know any fragrance in the world that every single person loves. You know, like, there's Baccarat Rouge. It has a cult following, which I feel like I'm the leader of the cult. <laughs> and, you know, we all love it. Like, the people that love it, love it. And we ride so hard for it. But then you have the people that can't stand it. I mean, it could be because they say it's overrated or whatever. Whatever the reason is. Whether it's the actual scent or the price or whatever it is. You know, like, some people, like, everybody's not going to like everything. So, that's fine. And like I said, I'll definitely post all of the experiences. 
but so far so good i'm like oh and i didn't tell did i tell y'all i think i briefly told y'all on instagram i thought i told y'all on youtube i think i need to oh i don't have any regular q-tips i gotta get some from the closet um i thought i told y'all on youtube but I am coming out with the body cream and that's going to be Navitus first body cream, period. Influencer, non-influencer, it's going to be the first body cream. So we're working on that right now. It's going to smell like Ambrosia Imperial. So I cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait for y'all to get it because it's going to go with the fragrance, but it'll go with other fragrances that you have in your collection as well. And we'll talk about that more in detail because I want it to go with my fragrance, but I also want it to kind of be a chameleon. I want it to be able to go with a lot of your other fragrances. So you're not only wearing it with my fragrance. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna be able to get your bang for your buck because you're gonna be able to wear it with other fragrances. So that's coming soon. And I'm also working on my fall creation, which <sighs> you thought, <laughs> You thought Ambrosia was bad, and she is. She is that chick. But for fall, y'all, I got something for y'all. I got something for y'all. But this has been so much fun. Like, this whole creative process has been such an experience. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, so that's my first step in my nighttime skincare routine. Taking the day off with my Clinique, take the day off. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my makeup wipes. I thought I was the only one that used these, but my girl, um, Denise Adore, she uses makeup wipes. Um, a couple of you, a few of you said y'all use makeup wipes, so. It's the makeup wipes for me, okay? This is a really, it's not hot. Like, if it was the daytime and hot outside, I'd probably use the coconut one because it smells nice and refreshing. This is a watermelon. They're all from Sephora. Well, both of those are from Sephora. And this is MAC. This is my ride or die. I love these. These are in and out of stock. The ones that you can get all the time is the one in the white packaging. But I love this one for some reason. It doesn't have a scent. I mean, it has like a faint scent, but I don't know. I just usually always buy this one. I think it's like rose water or something. So I take my wipe. And this just helps me not to have like makeup smeared all over my face with this. Because this is my next step right here. The pharmacy clean. But I just don't like... I just need a wipe, y'all. Like, I don't know. I know it's not good for the environment. They say it's not good for your face. But I'm not really tugging that hard. So... What I'm going to do... Because obviously, I'm not taking this in the bathroom. Like, I don't feel like setting anything up in the bathroom. Like, I'm like, for real, for real tired. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put some of this on my face. Go in the bathroom. Wash my, my face. And I'm going to show you the products that I use. And the steps that I use them in. And then I'm going to come back in here and do my serum and all that stuff. So this is going to get washed off. And it'll just wash all the makeup off. I don't put makeup on my neck. I feel like it ruins your clothes. 
And there's nothing I hate more than makeup on my clothes. All right, so I'm about to go rinse this off. I'll be back with an ashy face. Because I'm going to put my serums and toners and all that stuff on on camera. All right. All right, y'all. So my face is probably super dry, but we're up close and personal. So I rinsed off the pharmacy clean. And then my first step after I rinsed it off was my Tatcha Rice Wash. I love this stuff. I've been talking about this since forever. I always use it. I mean, it's a moisturizing, hydrating cleanser. And it has a little bit of tiny tiny exfoliating beads it doesn't really say it i mean i guess it's not really like an exfoliation type of a cleanser but to me it has some grainy like beads in there so it definitely like gets down into your pores and cleans your skin but it doesn't strip it it doesn't feel dry it's moisturizing and i love it so after that i went in with this now let me tell y'all this is what i use okay i'm not telling y'all to go out and get this because this right here is this is something <laughs> so this is the clinique exfoliating scrub this is the gommage tonic or tonic whatever this right here is super abrasive okay like you only do this maybe twice a week three times a week you don't do this every day like absolutely not because this scrub right here will like i'm not gonna say it will damage your skin but you don't need this on your skin every day like this is kind of harsh but i wear makeup different you know various times throughout the week so i like to go down and get in my pores in addition to masking this is really good to really scrub inside of your pores like this is an abrasive scrub so be wary with this one right here but i love it i've been using it for years but like i said i don't use it often twice a week three times if i'm feeling froggy okay and then after that, after, you know, I pat dried or whatever, then I use my Garnier Skin Active Water, Micellar Water Cleansing Water. Micellar Cleansing Water in the Rose Water. It says Water Rose. That's what's throwing me off because I'm thinking, isn't it Rose Water? But it says Water Rose, whatever. So this is what I use. I get it from Target. You can get it from Walmart, Target, wherever. It's a drugstore, affordable product. I love this. I always have this, okay? This stays in my bathroom. This just, I feel like I get like every little, any little crevice or any little thing speck of makeup that could have been left behind it's never usually left behind but just in case this is like my peace of mind before i use my toner okay just to make sure i got everything so this is definitely like it's an unnecessary step but i love it so now i'm going to use my toner so the toner that i'm using is the kills daily refining milk toner this toner is perfect if you have dry skin because it's a moisturizing toner. It's not only getting the pH balance back balanced <laughs> in your skin, but it's also very moisturizing. I love this toner. Usually toners make my skin dry and can burn sometimes. I used to use my, um, I used to use a Clinique toner, the number, I think it was number four. It was the one for dry skin. I feel like I'm yelling because <laughs> this is over my ear. It was the one for dry skin. So it was pro it was the proper one for my skin, but it was still making my skin like burn. It felt like it was stripping my skin. This right here, like you're gonna see, it's a toner that looks like a moisturizer. My skin doesn't feel tight after I've used it. It feels nice and soft and it looks, look at it. I mean, I'm already glowing. Do y'all see that glow? Y'all see the glow. I love this and it feels so soothing on the skin. See, nothing on the pad because Listen, I be triple, quadruple cleansing my skin, y'all. So I just let that just dry for a hot second. And then I'm going to decide which toner I'm going to use. Sometimes I use two toners. Not toner. That was my toner. I told y'all I'm tired, okay? 
which serum I'm gonna use. Like I said, sometimes I use two, but tonight I'm not gonna do anything. Ooh, wait a minute now. I gotta go back in the bathroom. I'll be right back. I don't think I put anything on my lips. This is usually the first thing I do when I get out the bathroom. Cause my lips, they just feel dry. I hate that feeling. And this is the Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask. Love that for me. All right, so tonight I think I'm gonna do my Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Infused Serum. And I'm also gonna use my It Cosmetics Beauty Sleep Serum. So I'm gonna use the Deep Hydration first. The only thing I don't do, I don't put the serum and the oils and stuff and the creams like on my eyes, like, like by my lashes because although I don't really have any lashes, but I hate when oil builds up there because sometimes I feel like, uh, like I'm seeing blurry and I'm like, oh my God, am I losing my eyesight? Then I remember, no, it's like 10 pounds of facial moisturizer that's on your face. So that's the first one. Love this. Another very hydrating, very soothing serum. I feel like it just gets down into your pores, into your skin, and it just makes my skin feel so super soft and moist and kind of plumping. Like, it just makes your skin look so bouncy and just, I just love it. I mean, I've heard mixed reviews about this, but I love it. I've been using it for a while. So that's the first step. Well, the first serum and the second serum is the it cosmetics plump and radiance uh, serum I just put two pumps and no I'm not doing this and doing that like <laughs> this is not TikTok or an Instagram real child we put it in our hands like this it ain't cute but it is what it is All right, so just let that sit for a little while. Hey, y'all, hey. <laughs> y'all, I have a haul. Like, I wanted to show y'all some stuff that I bought. Should I show y'all? I'm gonna show y'all tonight, just in case. Because tomorrow, I think I wanna do, I'm not making any promises, but I think I wanna make pina colada and show y'all how I make it. Cause literally like I'm the pina colada queen, okay? I make the best pina coladas. I don't even order pina coladas when I'm out. It depends on where I go, but for the most part, I'm not ordering it because I mean, it's not gonna be better than mine, period. Let me show y'all while I wait for this to soak into my skin. Ooh, excuse me. It's nothing crazy, but I do have two fragrances and a body cream. Let me put my eye cream on. And this, this is the Tatcha Silk Peony Eye Cream. And no, I'm not using this finger. This is the finger that they suggest to use, but ain't nobody doing that either. I'm using my middle finger, but I'm just not putting pressure. So. I just do it very lightly. Y'all, I know what the skincare gurus say and you know, use these two fingers and you rub it together and you do that and yeah, y'all. I'm using my middle fingers and I'm just patting it in, not using a lot of pressure and then taking the excess or the, <laughs> the excess and just putting it on top like that. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. Like, as long as you get it done. <sighs> so let that soak in. So let me show y'all. So remember I told y'all that I was waiting for my black opium to be done. And then I was going to buy the Le Parfum. Why I got the Le Parfum? Why? 
Why is the Lay Parfum in my hand right now? Because every time I went into Sephora, Macy's, wherever this was sold, I'm always smelling it. And I had to, okay? This is a vanilla lover's dream, okay? If you love vanilla, I mean, y'all, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And I'm a black opium girl. I know a lot of people aren't black opium people, but I feel like even if you don't love black opium or if you stop loving it, then you should try this anyway because this is a beautiful vanilla scent. Let me tell y'all what this smells like. And I'm gonna tell y'all the real reason why I bought this. Do y'all know Noir Parfum by Tom Ford? Do I wanna get it? I don't feel like getting up, but it's over there. Noir Parfum by Tom Ford is discontinued. That was one of my favorite Tom Ford fragrances ever. Like if you ask me my top five Tom Ford, that's in it. I don't really wear it that much because I can't find it anymore. It's probably like on one of the discount websites, Fragrance Net or X or whatever. But I just, I ain't got the time, okay? So I'm just nursing my bottle. When I smelled this, I was like, it reminded me of something and I could not put my finger on it. And I finally put my finger on it. It's Noir Parfum by Tom Ford. So if you loved Noir Parfum, you finished your bottle or, you know, you just, you're nursing your bottle like me, but you love that scent and you want to get something similar to it, get this right here, okay? Because this is giving Noir Parfum vibes. Ugh, I mean, when I tell y'all, it's almost, do I want to say identical? I'm not going to say identical, but it's, it's, it's real similar. Like, they they might not be twins, but they are sisters, okay? So if you love Noir Parfum, you'll love this. This is a beautiful vanilla scent. All year round scent. Because if you're a vanilla lover, you're going to wear this in the spring, summer. It don't matter. If you love vanilla, you want to smell it all year round. So definitely, y'all, this is everything. And I couldn't wait. Could not wait. So what am I doing now? So now I'm going to use my Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep by It Cosmetics Night Cream. And we're just gonna use a little bit of this. This feels so good. I don't know, are y'all like this? I love putting creams and oils on my skin. It feels so good when it's just gliding on. I love it. Get it on my neck. And I go in upward motions. Like I see people go down, but I want to bring my neck up, not down. <laughs> so. <sighs> and that's that on that. And that's my skincare. I could use another oil. A lot of times I use my Biosense Vitamin C Rose Oil just as a topper, just to, you know, whatever, the icing on the cake. But, um, we'll see. I may. So let me show y'all what I got next. <laughs> How am I doing this vlog all tired, but whatever. Like, if y'all are here, y'all are here for me, so it really don't matter. So I had to get a Baccarat Rouge 540 Body Oil. Y'all, I've never had the oil. Isn't that crazy? I've never had the body oil because every time I've smelled it, it smelled kind of faint to me. But I was in a store, smelled it again, and I was like, oh, okay. It's, I smell it. So I got this basically for layering. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the bottle. It's so pretty. Let me make sure. Oh, it's an oil so I could rub it. Yeah, I smell this. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was a bad batch I was smelling. Cause I smelled it a couple of times, like, you know, throughout the years and I was like, mm, it's nice, but I really don't need it because it's, I mean, it's an oil, but I don't smell it. But this one I'm definitely smelling. And I didn't get the one with the, crystal, not the crystals. What is it? The shimmer particles in that big bottle. It looks really nice, y'all. Really chic. But I smell nothing. I'm not getting that just for the shimmer. Because I have, 
my Tom Ford Sole Blanc oil that I love that smells like Sole Blanc and you see the shimmer it's perfectly fine I love that fragrance and it has a pump the Baccarat oil doesn't have a pump so yeah the one with the shimmer this one has a spray and I love it so I got that and that's the only fragrance yeah so then the, the next thing is a body cream. I got the Madison Avenue Bond Number no. 9 Body Cream. I've been wanting this for so long, y'all. I was just like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get it. Because now is the time that I'm going to wear Madison Avenue. These things... I'm going to have to cut this. Because they, they just don't be wanting you to get into it. They package them so tight. So the Bond Number no. 9 creams, y'all know I absolutely love them. Now, there's some creams that I personally feel like they're not fragrant. The ones that I have, my Chinatown, she is booming. Um, my New York Central Park West, booming. Nomad, popping. Uh, my not my New York. Um, New York Nights, boom banging. Like those creams are super fragrant, and that's how I love them. I want the cream to be. I know it's not a fragrance, but I want it to be loud. I want once you put the cream on, like you don't even need a fragrance. But then you're gonna put your fragrance on top, and you're gonna overspray your fragrance, and it's going to smell on you all day, no lie. So if the cream isn't fragrant, it's like I don't want you. Like, what are you here for? Just to moisturize? I can moisturize with a eucerin. You know what I'm saying? So the Greenwich Village cream, the ones that I've smelled. They're not super strong. So if you have a Greenwich Village cream and you feel like it's strong, like let me know. But I've smelled them a couple of times in store. And even sales associates, they'll say, yeah, the Greenwich isn't that strong. But this one is super strong. So I always wanted to get this. The only reason why I didn't get it is because it wasn't the season. So now it's the season. So this is perfect. And I think the Bond creams expire after 24 months. So, yeah, this smells really nice. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, it's such a pretty girl scent. Like, I love Madison Avenue. Okay. So, this is going to make me want to wear it even more now that I have the cream to go with it to layer. I don't have any performance issues with it, but it's just a mental thing. Like, I need the cream. So, the last thing I want to show y'all... It's from Louis Vuitton, a little unboxing. Let's unbox it together. I'm so cheesy. I'm delirious, y'all. I'm tired. So it comes in the pull-out drawer box. And she wraps it up in some tissue. And I got some bandos. I think I got four. Yeah, I got, is it four? Yeah, I got four. So this is the first one. It's like, it looks denim. So this is gonna go with, I love bandos, y'all. I don't really put them on my bags. I wear them. So like, on a day when the edges aren't edging, a bandeau is gonna save your life, okay? And even if the edges are edging, but I just wanna get that retro type of look with some big sunglasses. It's just a bandeau. You can do it here. Or you can do it like here. You can do it around your neck. You know, like a little scarf situation. You can put it around your bag. Or you can put it around a straw bag or like a bamboo bag just to add a little bit of color. But this is so pretty. Look at this. I love this. With a denim top, like a denim off the shoulder top, denim jeans. She's going to be a vibe. I love this one. It's so pretty. And the other side, usually they're reversible. Well, I mean, I guess kind of. No, it's the same on both sides. Yeah, this one is the same on both sides. So that's this one. And then, oh my goodness, y'all, look how pretty this is. So this is like pink on this side. Look at this, it's so pretty. 
super pretty. So that's one side. And I don't know the name of them. They be having names and this is from this collection. These are from the pool collection, which is new for this year. But what this print is called, I have no idea. And this is the other side. So pretty. This is pretty with a nice pink. It's like pink and coral. It has all my favorite colors. Now imagine like big earrings and some big sunglasses. Very retro, but casual, cool and laid back. Maybe a big oversized linen shirt with some shorts or some jeans or whatever. Like it's just so pretty. I love the contrast. It's so gorgeous with the coral and the chains and the pink and the ropes. Super pretty. And then look at this one. So this one is like pinky, like a hot pink, yellow uh, monogram. This is so gorgeous. And then the other side is purple. So look at this contrast, y'all. The contrast of this is so cute. I love this. I saw these in store. So let me tell y'all. So I purchased a Louis Vuitton fragrance. What's the name of it? Um, I forgot the name. I can't really. Yeah, I forgot the name. Herbs Day. I, I'm not sure, y'all. <laughs> but I purchased a fragrance from my sales associate. Now, typically, you're not able to return at Louis Vuitton. But I'm a good customer at Louis Vuitton. So she gave me the sample and was like, okay, spray the sample. And if you don't like it, bring it back tomorrow <laughs> and return it. So I played with the sample for like two days. And honestly, y'all, I wasn't, it just wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't speaking to me like how I wanted it to for $300. So I took it back. So while I was there, I ended up getting these bandos because they're so pretty. Oh, there's trunks on here. Can y'all see that? Little trunks right there and like all these little pretty colors. This is so cute. And then the last one I got is, this is the, the smaller one. I don't, I typically don't go for the smaller ones. I love the wide ones, but I just love this color. So look at this. So it has the pink on one side but this is the same side but it has pink here this beautiful baby pink i think it's like the color of my nails actually and then this print on this side with like the keychain and some chains and then the other side is kind of the same but just different colors so it's kind of like what is this like a putty or like a like a putty or something like that and then look at this side this is so pretty like i said you gotta you gotta imagine you can't this ain't you really ain't getting a full effect right now with how i look but this is super pretty y'all i love them so i'm about to put those away i need to get some water because i'm super thirsty like I said, we had a good time. I had um, almost two drinks, not two drinks. I told y'all I'm a one and a half drink minimum. Um, we went to, where do we go? Sun Cubano in uh, Edgewater, New Jersey. Um, the food is pretty decent there. It's not, yes, yeah, it's, it's Cuban food. It's good. Um, I'm not going to say it's the best in the world. Like, it's not great, but it's good. And the vibe is nice. They play music. The restaurant is beautiful. The drinks are good. Well, my cousin had a pina colada, and she didn't like it. And when it came out, I was like, mm, that pina colada looked real watery. And she makes pina coladas at home, too. Like, listen, everybody should make pina coladas at home because you can have fun with it. Banana flavor, guava flavor. I love my pina colada thick you can make it with white rum um dark rum i use banana liqueur i'm gonna show you i think i'm gonna do one tomorrow because it is saturday 
it's it, it's looking like a pina colada day it's feeling like a pina colada day so i think i'm gonna record it and show y'all how i make my pina coladas um so yeah i'm gonna just see y'all tomorrow because your girl is tired and i gotta put all this stuff away so i'll see y'all he asked me what i was doing with this. oh he in jersey yeah crazy hey y'all so i know we were supposed to be in the kitchen today making pina colada but uh, um the way mother nature set up she said it's a beautiful sunshiny day go outside and that's what we did right we outside <laughs> <laughs> uh. no but bay wants to tell you guys about ambrosia imperial because i think it was melissa somebody asked me or maybe vitrina i'm not sure but somebody asked me what was his thoughts and opinions on the fragrance. So I figure I'll let him tell you himself. So what's your thoughts and opinions on the fragrance? And we're going to be honest, obviously. <laughs> so you want me to be honest? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, that's all I can be. That's what I do. But, um. Erosion period. Hold up. The noise? Yeah. yeah. So, I must say, a win is a win. Oh. I ain't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that to, you know, give you any clout or whatever. Now, or because I'm your man now, or anything. That. Now, I'm going to have to interrupt you for a hot little second because we so, said, y'all, that we're going to be truthful, right? And we're going to tell the whole truth, oh, so, so nothing what, but from, the, from the truth, start, from the so help you God. From the start to the beginning. We said the truth. From the start to the beginning. All right, so when she was, when the fragrance, no, how can I put it? When she first You know, no, no, don't stumble out, now. Nah, nah, don't don't stumble trying, now. I'm trying to find the right words and don't, use the, don't, don't use, the perfume, now. use the perfume terminologies that y'all be using. Yeah, the, listen, the notes. You ain't, you ain't gotta do notes. that, boo. You ain't when, gotta do that, boo. When you first came out with the notes, I was like you right, was well, giving whatever. me the bombastic side well, eye. I was like, you was giving me the bombastic right, side eye. And tell I'll, the people you were like, I I'll thought you don't like gourmand. Yeah. Yeah, facts. And I was like, it be facts. your own, it be your own man. You like you don't, you don't like smelling like a bakery. Now here's, now here's the thing, because you watch all my videos, but you don't be really listening and paying attention. Because I said, I don't like before. I did say I didn't want fragrances that smell too gourmand, right? You don't I want smell like food. Right, like, right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, I remember that conversation. Right. Let me. I'm talking to the people. Uh -huh. well. So I said, y'all, that now. I mean, I've always loved gourmand fragrances. I love sweet, yummy fragrances, but I wanted them to still smell like perfume. Okay? So, you ain't get that memo? Right, but this is my story, right? It's your story, but I'm just saying. I'm saying you, you trying to clarify stuff, but you like keep it a hundred, keep it keep real. Keep it a buck, but, yes. But when I start keeping it real, you want to jump in. This ain't okay. double dutch. I cut you off. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now back to y'all. So when she first explained the notes to me I was like uh, smell like a bakery to me but then she was like no it's I don't want a bakery smell I want it to smell like perfume but at the same time giving you gourmand gourmand vibes right yeah so uh, uh, okay 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 whatever so now the samples started coming in. So your girl was on the floor with crack vials <laughs> all, all around her all day, Literally. spraying and falling asleep. <laughs> and like, like, like she was, yeah, yeah. Literally, Straight up fiend. Straight up. Literally. If I could show y'all, if I had pictures we or, or documented video, that. the girl had, I, I call them crack vials. Cause, Cause that's all y'all crack heads. That's no, but they, they look like little vials, y'all. Like, y'all perfume like, heads. They were like. Y'all like, perfume heads. Y'all be out here pushing that pee. Pushing P. Yeah, yeah. Pushing P. No, they were like little vials like this. And I was I wasn't putting them on test strips because on the test strips, 
it wasn't giving me I wanted to get the full the the full scent the full true scent of what I was sampling so I was put I had cut up a bunch of um paper towels because for me I was actually smelling the true scent on the paper towel I didn't like the test strip so that's I had little paper towels like literally cut all over the place with like the little vials and right, and right. he said, "No, we gonna tell him the whole story, cause now, cause now, uh, now, good, now, good. now, now I'm amped up." Good. So he was like, "Oh, that sound going on to me. Sound like I thought you ain't like." We, and, went, and, we, and. Went, we went through that, and, right? Okay. Yeah, we so that. so then so then I let him remember the one that I let you smell, and I, I was like, "What you think about this one by the famous perfumer?" I don't want to call any names. Oh, okay, okay. And then he was like, "That's what you're looking for, right? Because that smelled like banana. It, no, like that's it, what you're no, looking it for. Smelled, it smelled like a whole banana. Right, like it smelled like food. It, and I was like, no. And he was on some. So I don't know what you want. Like right. I like because he was. I was. I was trying to have him involved and have him help me. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't no good. But yeah. But Continue. he. Every time I brought something to him, he was like, Nah, that ain't it. It be your own man, y'all. Nah, it be your own it. man. So that then. So then, when I when I finally smelled the one from Mr. Bertrand Duchefort, y'all, I ain't even let him smell it. I let him smell it after I approved it, but I didn't like I didn't want him clouding my judgment because he was like, I just needed him to be. I don't know what I wanted actually because I wanted you to give me your yeah, advice, but then I yeah, wanted you see, to agree I'm, with me. I'm, I'm a brutally honest person, brutally. So if you don't like what I say, don't ask. Me. If you don't want the truth, don't ask. And, and won't. everybody knows that. And won't. So, yeah, and won't <laughs> because you because you didn't. And didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, but because you didn't, and, and you went and you went and was like, oh, uh, do you like this one? I'm like, yeah, that's 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 banging right there. Oh, good. He's like, oh, cause um, yeah, that's the one they working on. And he was mad, y'all. He was I was mad, like, I didn't even get to smell the rest of them. He was mad, y'all. And I'm like, because I just... Listen, y'all, the whole process was very stressful, okay? Like... It, it was. It was stressful. But it was fun. Literally, she was in the crack house for about six days. It was fun. Like, when they brought... Like, when they sent me the modifications, I had to, like, literally... And it was different mods. Like, it was multiple times. Like, here's the thing. Like, if I smelled something <clears throat> from a perfumer... And it didn't work out, or if I if I liked it, but I felt like like the one that was from the famous perfumer, mm. I liked it because it was from that perfumer. But I was like, I wanted it to have some more citruses, and like, could they add some florals or something to make it smell a little bit more perfumey and not as not not too gourmand? But that doesn't happen. Like once they send you the once they send you their their sample, their interpretation of what you wanted. And if you don't like it, then you gotta move on to the next perfumer. So that's what was happening. So the so the other the other perfume caught your vision. To a T. Right. Like when I smell like I didn't even tell Bay until after the fact because when I smelt it, I already knew it was a winner. I didn't need not to say like that because I always yeah, yeah, yeah. I always need keep, your keep opinion. It, keep it pushing. You wanna push P, keep it pushing. Yeah, yeah. I, so anyway. I didn't I didn't really need any confirmation because I felt like I felt it in my soul. I felt like this is the one. You know what I mean? No, and that's what you that's what you're supposed to do. So we did have to modify a couple of times with this fragrance because I smelled it and I loved it and I approved it. Um, but I also I wanted it to be so once I approved that fragrance from that perfumer, then we could do mods. You know what I mean? But before I approve the fragrance, I can't do any modifications. Like, they're not going to send me a whole bunch of mods. It's like, okay, you ain't like this. You move on to the next one. So, we modified it, I think, two or three times. One time it was for, two times it was for the scent. And one time it was for the performance. And then that third time, like, literally when they say three times a charm, that third time it was like, this is it right here. So, then... He loved it, but at first he was on some. Mm, 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 that ain't what you. I thought you don't want to smell like food. It. it uh, 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 all right, so, uh, all right, so yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah. So, so here's the thing. Yeah. Here's oh, here's the thing. You know what's about to be some. Mm, yeah. When they be like, here's the thing. What's the thing, babe? So, so now we talking about when we receive the bottle itself, not the modifications. The oh, bottle. the the actual bottle. The actual okay. Bottle. Mm -hmm. 
So when I sprayed it, I was like, oh, it smells good. I don't know what kept happening. Maybe this happened to a few of y'all. Maybe it happened to some. Maybe it happened to none of y'all. Whatever. But when I sprayed it, I was like, oh, this is nice. But for some reason, the the smell kept me going back. I just kept going and, 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 and kept doing it. I'm like, damn, because the note, that's what y'all say, right? The notes. The notes, yeah. The note, it kept changing. Whatever the smells was, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say how I say it. Whatever the smells was. Say how you say it, babe. It was different. It just kept, I smelled, I don't know, like a, a rum. I smelled, you know, I like that saffron. Mm -hmm. So I, I smelled the saffron. The banana didn't come in to afterwards. Yeah, he. I, didn't, I really didn't smell. I forgot the about that. He was at one point. He said that I'm he like, didn't smell the banana. The banana. I don't smell and it. I was like, oh god, they're gonna be like, they said this was a banana fragrance. Where the banana at? See, I'm learning after the dry down. But, after the dry. But here's down, the thing. But not then, even. Then, then I started smelling the banana. But, and the banana is it lives through the whole entire life of the fragrance. Here's the thing with that. I wanted the fra I wanted the banana to be in the whole entire fragrance, top, mid, and the base. But I also didn't want it to be so super strong. Here's the thing. People think banana. You hear banana, and then you just automatically think of just the banana fruit. This, like this, you're ain't, feeling your this ain't your regular banana. Right? Because, your regular because banana. the thing is, the banana in the, in the banana in this fragrance is being cooked with the rum. You understand what I'm saying? You have to think bananas foster. So if you cook, and if you know that dessert, and you know how to fl um, flambe, you know it's kind of smoky. You know it's a little spicy because you're adding cinnamon. You, like the banana is cooked. It's not. It's really super soft and it's like overly cooked. It's sugary. It's sweet. It's not the banana that you're just like you, you take it, a you fruit. Should cook it. You should cook it. For I am. I'm going to do that. Okay. You don't. Gonna, when are you gonna cook? La la la. You. Try to get me set down there. Always. Yeah. Um. But no, I'm definitely going to show them how bananas foster is made. But. The banana in Bananas Foster is different from just like if you go to a grocery store and you pick up a banana and you peel it and start eating. Like the scent of a peeled banana like with no cooking, no rum, no sugar, no nothing is totally different from when you cook it down and when you mix it with the rum. It's a totally different scent. So that's what it is. People are like, you know, well, I don't know if people are like, but I'm just saying if you're expecting the banana to be like a fresh peeled banana, it's not that because... That can get cloying after a while. Although you may love the scent of banana, I love bananas. I eat bananas. I love smelling bananas. I love banana candies, banana, banana everything. You can ask him. Yeah, but, nana, 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 nana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we get it. We yeah. get it. This, this was supposed to be my interview. Oh, my bad, my yeah, bad. Yeah, my yeah. bad, my I'm bad. Supposed to, I'm supposed to be telling you my bad. what's going on you, with me. And you right. Right, right. Let right. me. Yeah. Let me shut up. Yeah. There you go. go. Go ahead, boo. Yeah, yeah. You can have the floor. So, when I sprayed it, like I said, <laughs> I started, kept, I kept going back you to my back. arm, like, like the, damn, the, the damn. All right, so it smelled good. I'm talking about for a man. I am. It's I smelled it on her. It smelled damn good on her, but I'm saying on me. As a man, I'm like, and he is I, I, funny I, style. I, I like, I'm like, oh, I rock this. He is funny style. Like he, when I say funny style, he's funny on fragrances that I wear because he's one of those men. Like he's a obviously like he's a man's man, very manly man. So he's not gonna wear fragrances. Although we be like, oh, this is unisex fragrance, whatever. If I'm wearing it, he ain't gonna wear it. Like even though it may smell. Yeah, the fruit can't be fruit. Yeah, like, yeah, the there's some men who wear Delino. Like, he doesn't even wear Baccarat because I wear it. And Baccarat is unisex. All right, so I went out the other night. I put it on. So, I'm like, all right, let's see, you know, see what she working with. See if anybody say anything. So, you know, I got the fragrance on or whatever. So, you know, my, through my little meet and greet, you know, you see people or whatever. You know, give them a little dap. You know, we as men, we come in with the little handshake or whatever. You know, bring yourself to each other. And you know, you see, you know, you see family or you know, women that you know or whatever. You know, you give them a little hug or whatever the case may be. What? So, damn. 
So oh, it's about to be. It's about to be. It's about to be. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, no, no, it's about to be. It's about to be Jerry you, Springer no, up in here. No, no, no. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer. Um, you, it's about to be you Jerry like, Springer no, up in here. See, she said. Because I'm trying 100. to. I'm trying to figure she out. She said keep it a hundred. So now I'm keeping it a hundred. But keeping it. But keeping it real goes wrong. But keeping it real goes wrong. So 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 yeah. So so you know. You know, you get a person dap or a little hug or whatever the case may be. So I got the fragrance on. You know what I mean? Yeah, I always spray. Yeah, whatever. I always spray. That's what y'all taught me. So I always spray. So anyway, you know, people was giving me dap or whatever. I'm talking about the guy. They was giving me dap like, yo, what's that? That shit rocking. All right, cool. That's a couple compliments I got from guys. Now, women, you know what I'm saying? I would give them a hug or whatever. And and they would let me go, but bring me back in. And hold, like, up, hold, <laughs> up, hold 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 up. No, I'm saying. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Keeping it a hundred, hold up, right? Hold up. I'm saying. You know how? Look, 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 look. Y'all, we about to, I, I, we look, going, look, we going look, in the look, vlog right look, here. Look. So, so it's like we this. Go, we it's go, like we this. going in the vlog right hey, here. Hey, hey, how you doing or whatever? And and you know you go like that or whatever, and and they put their arm here or whatever, and they let you go, and they like. Well, damn. Who doing that to you? I, I, That's I, a whole nother conversation. Hold up. This is a whole nother it, conversation. It, had, now you about to make it, the it people like, see another side. No, you like, about to make the people see another side. You trying to get away like, with, you trying to get away with some ish because I'm, I'm vlogging. Saying, it, was, it was like four or five women that did that to me. Y'all, like, so and, and, remember and, to stay safe. They <laughs> be great. Stay great. And always strive for greatness. No, nah, no, nah, listen. AI the great. Listen. Signing out. No, nah, so no, nah, cause we keep it on it. You said keep it a hundred. So I'm being I'm being upfront. So they would give me a hug, you know what I'm saying? And they would literally like let me go and pull me back in and be like, Well damn, what you got on? You smell good. And what you say? And I'm like, <laughs> that's that ambrosia right there. You know what I'm saying? That's wifey perfume. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so okay. look, look, I'm a walking billboard. And did they, and, and did they buy it? it? And did they buy it? I'm a walking Or they just enjoying billboard. it on you? Here's you the buy... link. Here's the link. Here's the link. I'm a walking billboard. Y'all, let me show y'all something. This the bag. You know I mean? this, this my bag because I ain't, I ain't got no uh, weapons in the car. Damn, but this my bag of the day. Damn. This my Gucci. See, my Gucci. See, uh, they books. always... See, they always tell you. This is yeah, my Gucci Globe Trotter. Just tell me. If y'all know this bag, y'all know it's heavy. When, this bag. This <laughs> way. When you tell them what's really going Y'all say on. by the bay. <laughs> say by the bay. Y'all. Say, when, say when by really the bay. you tell them what's going on, they don't want to hear it. But anyway. Back to the fragrance. But anyway, back to the fragrance. The fragrance is banging. Now here's now now here's another thing, and I don't know if it happened to y'all, but it happened to me. So I had the fragrance on. So I had it on probably about four four or five hours, right? And I couldn't smell it really at 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 one point. Like it kind of disappeared. But I was still shaking, you know, seeing people shaking people's hands. <laughs> and, and they was like, they, now this is afterwards. And they like, damn, you smell good. This is after, you know what I'm saying? What Four I just or five told. hours? No, listen to me. I couldn't smell it. Like my nose went blind to it. I guess, I don't know, because I was in the environment or whatever the case may be. But when I came into that other environment, this is when the people was like, when I was seeing people. Because I was out for a while at first. This is what happens when I let you go out by yourself. This, not it, not it. So, so not this some bull ish so right here, y'all. So when I came into a closed environment, and this is this about to turn into the young and the restless. Saying. This is like after four or five hours when I got to wherever I was going, and I came into a closed environment. That's when the people was giving me their compliments. That's when I was seeing the people or whatever. What the girl did on Dateline again? So because I I, rem I remember. So so the funny the funny thing is that when I left. And this might be seven, eight hours now into it or whatever. When I left and I went to smell myself again, it was dead. So I don't know if it did. So now you're telling people that my fragrance is I'm, like Baccarat Rouge during this period. No, no, no. Thank no, you, babe. 
No. First, oh, first no. he's telling me that all know these women are dis- all over him. I don't know if it's Then he's telling me after four at- hours he can't smell the fragrance. And then he's saying no, no, no. that. I don't, no, I don't know if it didn't disappear at. I don't know what happened. Yeah. But when I went back to smell myself, I'm like, damn, this shit rocking. It's still there. Like, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But you said keep it 100, so I'm keeping it 100. So, all right. Next so time, I'm going to need you to keep it. 98.5 so, so, so the thing Alright so the thing is That I know for a fact That that fragrance on me For the time period that I was out Lasted the whole time Which was about 8 hours I know for a fact It lasted on me For 8 hours And then when you came home And, 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 and you know, of course when I came home I took a shower Or whatever the case may be No but you said you still smell it No yeah, right So like that's what I'm saying for But it wasn't You didn't smell it on your You smell it was on your skin faintly, but I smelled it all over your clothes. Like, like you just sprayed it. Right. So, so that's what I'm saying. On my arm, I was trying to smell my arm, and I couldn't like really smell it. But when I went inside my shirt, I mean, I ain't go inside my shirt while I'm out. Like, let me smell my. Well, what well, like the women that. was? They they was all in your shirt, yeah, you drawing know, you, drawing you. Back. <laughs> Yo. You know what I mean? Yo. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all. All right, y'all. So, nah, but um, in in my personal opinion, it's strong enough for a man. But, but pH balance for, for a woman. woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm definitely rocking this, and will continue to rock it. You know what I mean? Not in the honor, not in the honor of my girl, AI the Great. You ain't wearing it no more but, though, because you talking about women drawing but, you in and they oh you supposed that and they pulling you back. But because yeah, nah. it is just that good. It is just that good. So ladies, spray it on your man. Spray it on your man and, and just see oh, you did say what, that. what, you what, what it that. gives. Huh? No, you did say you was gonna tell him that to spray it yeah. on your man. Spray it on your man and see what it gives. Cause I did that the first time and I'm like when I first spray, I'm like, yo, I rock this. This smell mad good. And you know what I mean? I took it out. I bet you. I, I played with it. You know what? <laughs> yo. I played yo. With it. And they like, damn, you smell good. I'm like, yeah, you're right now. <laughs> and there you have it. Y'all. Be great, <laughs> stay great, and always strive for greatness. Put some money on my books. Put some money on the commissary. Uh, um, send me some ramen noodles, and I'm out. Peace. You, peace. You gonna say bye to the people? Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. Say rest yeah. In yeah. Peace. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>